What's up, YouTube? Thank you for stopping by and welcome. This is my first video. I'm very new to YouTube. So my goal with this channel is to kind of sort of show you guys what I like to do, things that I learn. I'm constantly learning about, you know, not just fish keeping, but pet keeping in general. I have a lot of pets and a lot of love for all the different creatures on this lovely planet. So I hope you guys join me, I hope you like this video, subscribe, and I'll be posting more. Let's get started. If you're like me and you have glass cats with no whiskers and you're like a first time glass cat mama or papa, don't freak out, everything is going to be okay. The reason why I wanted to share this video with you and talk about this subject, I really think it's important to talk about not just how to care for them, but your experiences when things don't go right. So I'm going to show you some clips of my glass cat fit. If you'll notice, they don't have any barbels or whiskers. The reason for that is because I received these fish from a co-worker who had this whole tank set up and established for, I think he said, like around six years before he decided, you know what, it's a lot to maintain and, you know, he just kind of sort of gave them to me. So I noticed when I set up the tank that the catfish were missing their barbells, their whiskers. And I was like, oh my gosh, I started Googling and researching everywhere. I found they lose their whiskers when they're super stressed. I'm sure that because the workday was a full eight hours and then not to mention the time that it took for him to pack up the fish and take him to work and then the drive back to my house. Between all that back and forth, back and forth, it's very stressful on all these fish. I was very sad that my glass cats lost their whiskers. I mean, they're beautiful anyways now, but online said that they tend to grow their whiskers back. I haven't really noticed them growing their whiskers back, but I'll definitely keep doing some tank updates every few weeks or every month or so and let you guys know if this is in fact true. While I haven't seen any whiskers start growing or any like sort of, you know, nubs forming, we'll see what happens. These guys are adults. They're about that long. That long? Yeah, they're about that long. I've been monitoring them. I've had this tank for about a month. They're eating fine. They're healthy. They're still whiskerless, but they have no problem sliding the food. I know that a lot of people were concerned. Without their whiskers, are they going to find food? Are they going to find food? Yes. Mine find food just fine. They can see perfect. The water's clear. There's no sort of craziness going on in there. And I'm keeping the water stable. That's the other thing. Even if your water parameters are kind of crazy, as long as it's stable and you gradually shift your water parameters to where they need to be, you'll be fine. They're doing fine. So I just wanted to talk about this experience with you guys. The fact that my catfish don't have barbels and that I haven't seen them start growing them back. It's been a month since they haven't had their whiskers, but they're doing just fine. So if it happens to you, don't stress. Just keep a close eye on it like I have and keep up with your water changes, but try not to disturb the fish. You should be fine. I mean, I think I'm doing okay. If you guys have any other recommendations though, I would greatly appreciate them. Put them down in the comments and I'll definitely read them and reply to everything that I can. I hope that this video makes you feel better if you're having any like sort of negative experiences or concerns because I know I have been just worried sick about my poor glass cat. I wanted to add more glass cats in there but I'm not planning on buying any more because I have other plans for this tank and in the meantime I'm just trying to let these fish live as long as they possibly can their natural lives then I want to add some different fish in there I think you guys will like them this is such a fun tank like I'm excited to play around with it and show you guys the different projects I have going on that'll be coming up in the future but in the meantime these guys are great they swim back and forth just fine right now they're probably staying in this corner right here because they're more shy and timid fish if you guys have any questions let me know thank you for watching if you like the video please hit that thumbs up like the video even if you just want to stop by and say hi drop a comment whatever F's in the chat for paying respects to these fish it's all good or if you think that this is gonna go in a good direction something that you'd be interested in watching please subscribe and hit that little bell for the notification so you can know when I upload my next video have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one hey guys I forgot to mention all the fish in this tank 
I have never kept before. This is a whole learning experience. I was running into a couple of little minor issues that I had to figure out. No problems anymore. As you can see, everything looks beautiful. The fish are swimming, all happy. That's a glass catfish right there. Look at my feet. <laughs> come here, come here. But um, yeah, one of them is super clear bodied, the exact picture of what a glass catfish should be but without the whiskers and one of them's kind of cloudy looking I think that one might be on its last leg just because it's so old and I know their lifespan isn't typically more than six years and they're already six year old fish it's still eating just fine it's still active and you'll probably be able to see it in the videos more than likely maybe not I'm sorry if you can't but some places will say when it gets cloudy then you should expect it to die within a few days it's been cloudy the whole month that I've had it and it is doing just fine so if there is a way to get this guy back to being clear bodied please let me know like I said I'm constantly learning and I'm trying to learn with you guys and show you guys what I learned from my experiences and whatever I can just find out on my own so I appreciate you and like I said, have a lovely day. I'll see you in the next one.